Dear ladies and gentlemen, good abend. Guten Abend. Guten evening. I would like to introduce myself to you as a historical book, uh, book author and artist. I was born in Lviv. Uh, I'm a qualified journalist and musician and have lived in Germany since 2005. Uh, I have been researching the history of the Galiz Galician Germans since 2016. The memory of German in Lviv and West Ukraine is little known. I'm trying to change that and make the fate of the Galician German uh, known through publication, lecture and other creative pro uh, projects. In September 2019, uh, published, uh, I published the book Galician German Speaking in Ukrainian in cooperation with the Lviv Polytechnical University. The book is divided into six thematic sections. Germans in Galicia in the Middle Age, German settlement in the 18th, 20th centuries, Austrian Galicia, resettlement of Galician Germans, neighborhood with Ukrainians, history of Lemberg and Lembergers. In the cold winter uh, months of 1939-1940, 55,000 Gal Galician Germans left Lviv, ivano frankivsk then Stanislav, Drohobych, Stris, Kole, and other cities of Western Ukraine, then Eastern Poland. From their homes, um, uh, and they went into the unknown. Who were they? How did they live? And why did they have to uh, leave their homeland? I try to answer the question in my book. In order to write the book, I uh, contacted the Association Committee for the Galician German in, um, uh, and recorded numbers of interviews with descendants of the Germans in Galicia. I also interviewed the descendants of Royal Habsburg family, Karl von Habsburg. I came across exciting documents from Stalin and Hitler. A time in archive in the city of Kiev about details of the resettlement of ethnic German from Eastern Galicia in 1939. My book was presented in Lviv Book uh, Fair in September 2019. Since the book uh, is published, I was uh, uh, giving numbers of presentation uh, in the libraries of Lviv, Kiev, um, including Council of Germans of Ukraine, and also in the community of Karlsruhe, Stuttgart, Elwangen, Kirn in Germany. Uh, the book uh, available for a reading in the Martin Opitz Library in Herren in Germany since August 2020. The Martin Opitz Library is a central library of the history and culture of German uh, in Eastern Europe. The book and the research are receiving a very positive response in Ukraine and Germany. Ukrainians and German media uh, have reported on my uh, work and research with interest and great number of, in great number of occasions. Apart from the book writing, I combine my music performance in the historical topic of my interest. In cooperation with Ukrainian and German artists, uh, we uh, re-recorded all Galician German songs derived from the archive of Galician German's Volksmusik. In 2021, the Consul of Germans in Ukraine invited me to conduct uh, an uh, expedition to the former German Galician villages. During six-day expedition, we visited a variety of objects related to German heritage in Lviv, Frankivs, Kolomia, Stri, and other Carpathian reg regions. As a result of the expedition, a photo exhibition in Kiev's uh, Science Academy and Virtual Museum of Galician Germans was organized. In year 2022, I produced the historical photo exhibition in Lviv at the Church of St. Ursula. The exhibition covers the topic of German church community in Lviv and Galicia till a resettlement 1939. On the invitation of church community of St. Ursula Dome, I gave presentation where I spoke about uh, Protestantism in Austria and Galicia. The topic I addressed at my meeting and presentation of great interest of different generations. My readers encourage me to further activities and research 
as uh, knowledge of the history of gi uh, gives people strength and represent a barrier against outside manipulation. This year, I'm preparing a music program together with piano artist Vadim Zhuravitsky. Uh, he's a lecturer at the National Academy of Music in Kiev. In the concert, we will present classical and folk music from Galicia, and I will sing uh, pieces written by the famous West Ukrainian composer Anatoly Yosefovich Kosanatolsky. I'm personally uh, acquainted with Anatoly Yosefovich Kosanatolsky and sang his song for many years. His life story takes special place in my heart, as he was a Galicia citizen who lived in a very different epoch from Habsburg till Soviet, and he managed to pass great cultural heritage on the generations ahead. Anatoly Yusufovich Kosanatolsky was born in Austrian-Hungarian Empire in November 1809 in Kolomea, in the family of a doctor, Josef Mikhailovich Kos. Uh, they loved music in the house. Anatoly's father had a perfect ear for music, and his mother played piano very well. Mikhail Kos, the composer grandfather, was a major of the Galician state Komarno. Josef Kos, Kos Anatolyevich's father, was a doctor and studied at the University of Vienna, where he received a degree and title of Doctor of Medical Sciences. Anatoly received musical education in the Music Institute Mykola Lysenko. But his father convinced Anatoly to learn another profession that would bring good income and prosperity to the family. So in 1927, he became a student at the Law Faculty of Lviv University and after graduating in 1931, opened several private law fir firms. September 1939, the time of the annexation of Western Ukrainian lands by the Ukrainian Soviet Republic, Republic fundamentally changed the fate of young lawyer. The law firms closed and Anatoly Yosefovich got a job as a music teacher at school, worked as an accompanist in a music school and the drama theater, wrote song for children, musical interludes. Since 1952, he worked as a lecturer since 1973 at the Lviv Conservatory as a prof professor. Kosa Natolsky wrote almost 500 pieces of music. He is the author of three ballet and opera and concert for harp and orchestra, pieces for piano and violin. But above all, Kosa Natolsky is a composer of popular music of his time. Uh, and an inexhaustible source of creative inspiration for Anatoly Kosnatolsky was the richness of song of the Carpathians, the way of life of Ukrainian highlanders. Kosnatolsky died on November 30th, 1983, and he's buried in Lviv. His descendants now live in Canada. We are in contact, and they thank me for mentioning this author in my appearance. I know for sure that my homeland, Ukraine, and its historical region, Galicia, is a country with a rich and ancient history. Since ancient time, our country has been uh, inhabited by various ethnic groups. Galicia was home for Poles, Ukrainians, Jews, Germans, Armenians, Gypsies, Hungarians, Czechs, and Romanians. The majority of population were Slavs, Poles, and Ukrainians. The Poles settled in Western Galicia, where the majority of Ukrainians settled in East Galicia. Thanks to the different ethnic communities and their cooperation with each other, uh, trade, crafts, art, medicine, agriculture, education, military craft, and social politics relation developed. Different ethnic groups in a different times tried to live in harmonious relations, learn from each other, and complemented each other's knowledge and skills. Today we live in a complex world that is changing rapidly. However, historical processes remain uh, unchanged. After relatively quiet years, wars, migration, economic, political, and intellectual crises follow. These are other historical processes repeat themselves again and again in the different parts of the world for various reasons. 
the younger generation should be ready for various historical challenges, and this often means to be tough and self-confident. History shows no mercy or pity for weak people, but historical challenges has always required the strength of the human spirit, the manifestation of free will, the desire of a person to live in a happy, prosperous society where good, justice, and the truth stands above the uh, basic impulses of momentum gain. I think to the ICD and um, its audience for the opportunity to make this speech in order uh, to present my story. Thank you all for your time and attention. Any questions? No, thank you very, very much. This is your chance for questions or comments. Anything you'd like to discuss. I always say half of the responsibility of this conference is on you. So if you don't ask questions or don't engage, you'll only get what they say. Excellent. So take at least one here. And then we have a coffee break. Don't worry. OK? Yeah, my only question is the fact that um, she projected a video, but she hasn't played it for us, and we don't know what exactly it means. Well, I explain it in my speech. I, I told that I, in cooperation with different um, artists, we made old songs to new life again, because that's the way. That's the way actually it's connected to your topic of cultural diplomacy. That's the way how the people can know about unknown. Um, why I wrote this book because people didn't know about existence of this ethnic group in their land because it was politically uh, convenient to cover it. This, and through music, I tried to bring the uh, history back to life. Additional comments or questions? Otherwise, as I said, we have a brief coffee break now, so we can maybe also approach you informally in the coffee break. But let's take the opportunity once again to express our sincere gratitude to Elena.